We have a large male mink here. We have the anal glands, I believe, here and here. Just show that one more time. Sorry. The anal glands of this mink are here. Oh, sorry. Okay. Right below the tail, right above the anus. And there's one on the other side. Make sure you get both. Be careful. If you're cutting through one, you don't cut through both. As much fun as this is, there's a reason we do it under a hood. So if I cut around the tissue as much as, or around the actual anal gland as much as possible, try to cut around with the fat. When you pop it, it'll look like you you cut open a little sack, so you'll have an idea. I think I'm working okay here. If your scalpel's dull, trade it for a good one before you start. One down. Put it in the animal waste bin that's in here. Don't take it out of the hood at all. If you're wondering if something's the animal gland, just think about the tissue type looks very similar to the mandibular glands. It's a little darker color. It's generally buried in the fat. Make sure when you're done with this one, hold it up. Hold it up so we can see what it is. that? This is the tissue type you're looking for. It was like pinkish, or it's a it's like a dark meat color, but it's in a little ball form right behind the, you know, positionally you can tell. Okay. It also doesn't have the striations of actual okay. muscle. Okay. So. That's removing anal glands 101. Uh, make sure if you pop your anal glands, you don't take anything out of the hood until you've. So if a student pops one, like which they do. Uh, give them a paper towel. Those paper towels can go in this trash. Um, wipe it off. Like you'll, some fluid will come out of it. Wipe that off your, off of your uh, plastic, or off your tray, before you move on to the next thing. Okay. So do they have to rinse it out with water or anything? No. Or just, just wipe it down. If you just wipe it off, it, the smell shouldn't be too bad, unless they think the smells awful. Okay. Thanks, Ben. The smells awful.